Hey, welcome to Proko. My name is Stan Prokopenko. Still working on the anatomy series, but in the meantime, I'll answer some of the questions you guys have been asking me. This time, I'll focus on the questions about gesture. All right, let's jump right in. The first question comes from Lowlyman777 on YouTube. When I'm practicing my figure and gesture drawings, I find it easier to start with a bean instead of a stick figure to point out the proportions and the line of action. Should I practice the stick figure or should I stick with the bean and skip the stick figure part? If by stick figure you mean gesture, then no, I would not skip it. Gesture is the most important part of a figure drawing. If you struggle with it, that means you don't understand it or you need to practice it more. If you don't understand it, then you need to study it until you do understand it. Practice to improve your weakness rather than staying comfortable and reinforcing your strengths. I would rewatch the gesture video and pay very close attention. You can't think of it like a stick figure. Gesture drawings are very simplified lines, so they might resemble stick figures, but they're not. They're motion lines. They show the flow of the pose. Try to really understand the purpose of gesture. It's not something to skim through quickly. It's something that requires your full attention. So to answer your question, no, don't skip gesture and don't think of it as a stick figure. Sfried0 on Twitter says, Hi Stan, I still have trouble trying to find and draw the C and S curves under 30 seconds. I have a hard time trying to grasp the whole concept of not relying on contour. I can't grasp the logic of it. Well, the logic is that contour explains all the outer details of all the smaller forms as well as the larger forms. Gesture just explains the flow between all these forms. So that's the logic of it, but it could be hard to visualize and put into practice unless you see it. So if you didn't get that, don't worry. I'm gonna show you an example. And by the way, if you can't do it in 30 seconds yet, that's fine. Do it in a minute or even two minutes, as long as you're not adding time just to add more detail. So you'll hear me saying to use C curves, S curves, or straights to find the gesture of the pose. I'm not talking about constructing the contour with C, S, and straight lines. C curves for the hips, C curve for the quads, S curve for the back of the leg, and so on. See how I'm using C and S curves, but the end result still looks stiff. That's because those individual lines are not the gesture of the leg. That's still contour, even though I'm using C curves, S curves, and straight lines. When I say find the gesture, I mean find the flow through the forms, not the contour of each individual form. So a flow through the whole leg indicated by one S curve. Now I can go back and add contour lines on top of this. And after I've added all these details, the leg still looks dynamic. That's because all those details follow the main flow. Whereas these contour lines, even though they're simplified, are stiff. That is the gesture. It's not the outlines, no matter how curvy you make them. The outlines themselves can't create a dynamic drawing. It's how all those outlines work together to create a flow. You have to look at the whole pose to make it dynamic, not the individual parts. Sanal so Prabhun asks, I'm currently studying from Kaiman Nicolati's book, Natural Way to Draw. He says to draw the gestures in continuous scribbly lines and your approach is the one with minimal lines, just enough to express the motion and volume. I don't know which one to follow and if both are really similar or totally different ways of expressing gesture. Well, Sonal, I think both methods are fine, as long as you're searching for the gesture. Of course, I prefer the way I showed, that's why I showed it. The scribbly line method is a quick way of getting an idea on paper without worrying about the line quality. It's more about feeling, and that's a good thing. 
But you need to remember that this is just a beginning. You still need to be able to make those scribbly line drawings into something more developed. You can put tracing paper over them and clean them up a little if you want. One reason I don't prefer the scribbly lines is because if you do it too much, you might develop a habit of using messy lines. I like each stage of my drawing to look good, but everybody has their preference, so I suggest you give both of them a serious effort, a few weeks at least, and decide for yourself. Glenn Vilpu sometimes shows how to do gesture drawings using the side of the pencil. He finds gesture using tone. Marshall Vandruff even suggested dipping newspaper in ink during our gesture critique video. All this works fine as long as you're looking for the motion. Remember the important part of all these methods. The materials and the line type are just techniques. The important part is the gesture itself. The body language, motion, idea, the story. If you accurately capture gesture with scribbly lines, then that's fine. Eventually though, I think you need to take your quick sketch drawings a little further. As you get good at identifying the motion of the pose, start adding some anatomical forms. It's great if you can capture the gesture in a 30 second scribble, but what practical purpose does that have on its own? Not much. You need to be able to keep that gesture all the way to the end of a long figure drawing. This is actually a very common problem. We'll start with the dynamic, simple gesture lay-in, and after we add all the structure and the details, the fluidity is gone. We've lost the gesture in all the details, and the pose ends up being stiff again. That's the main reason I recommend practicing to exaggerate gesture. Because once you add the structure, you're going to lose some of that gesture. So like I was saying, eventually you need to take your quick sketches further. Spend 5 to 10 minutes on a single pose. Start with a light gesture lay-in and then add the anatomical details on top and make sure that the gestural flow is still there when you're done. That's all for today. If you haven't checked out the premium figure drawing course yet, visit proco.com figure. Start going through those videos before the anatomy course starts. It's good to have the basics covered before going into anatomy. Also, I'm releasing the figure course as a five disc DVD set very soon. So look out for that. All right, I hope this helped with some of your questions and concerns. Good luck, everybody. If you like this video, pass it on to your friends and classmates and click this button here to subscribe to the Proco newsletter so you don't miss any new videos. Bye-bye.